Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for Number Corner. We'll play a little catch up from the weekend with our Number Corner calendar. So we are in the month of October. And if you take a look, October starts with that capital O because it is the name of a month. And when we're studying the vowels, we know that vowels make a short sound and a long sound. And ah, ah, ah for October is the short vowel name. This O says the long vowel name, the O. So October is the month we are in. The last time we were in school, it was Friday. And then we had the weekend and we had Saturday. So let's take a look at our calendar marker. All right, the calendar marker for Saturday, October 3rd, two red apples and two green apples. So we can add that to our chart. We will just add our number tree. There are still four total apples, but this time we have two red and two green. All right, and so our equation would be two plus two equals four. Okay. Um, Sunday, October 4th, if you take a look at this calendar marker, okay, now we can see that there are leaves and a basket. Okay, so I can see one, two, three, four, five leaves. Five leaves and nothing in the basket. Okay, so we can write on our number tree that there are five leaves, right? But none of the leaves are in the basket. So I'm going to write a five and a zero, okay? And our equation would be five plus zero equals five. All right, now we're back for today, Monday, October 5th, 2020. So let's take a look at today's card. Today's card shows one, two, three, four, five leaves, those same five leaves. One of them is in the basket. The other four are not. So Monday, October 5th, 2020. Now we'll write 10-5 and we still have five leaves, but this time we have four leaves that are not in the bucket and one leaf that is in the bucket. So we can write a math story, okay? Um, I saw five leaves, okay, that's our total, one, was in the basket. My question could be, how many are not in the basket? And I put a question mark at the end of that sentence. So I saw five leaves, one leaf was in the basket, my question is, how many leaves are not in the basket? Okay, well, we have four out of the basket, one in the basket, so there are five leaves total. You could also do this as a subtraction equation. You could say that there were five leaves and one in the basket, that leaves four not in the basket, still using the same numbers on our number tree, okay? Five is our total, and we have two parts, four and one. All right. So let's switch over here. All right, and let's color in another day at school. All right, here we go. So we'll color in 
another square. And you can see that we have been in school for 10, 20, one days. One 10 stick plus another 10 stick plus just one. 21 days. So let's write that. How many days in school? 21. Okay. I have two groups of 10, so two 10, and one, one. Or 10 plus 10 plus one. Or 20 plus one. That's how many days we've been in school. And we can add that now to our number line. So um, on Friday it was the 20th day of school, so I added the number 20 and I circled it so that we're circling our decade days. Um, but let's add 21 for today. 21 days we've been in school. Today is October 5th, so 10-5-20. And then the very last thing we have to do is we have to update our picture graph. And you might have noticed that I took down last week's um, shapes on the picture, on our picture graph. So we can start over again for this week. We still have all of week one in their little pocket, but now let's spin for week two. All right, so we'll spin our spinner and it landed on five. That means I'm going to take out five shapes. Okay, so let's see here. We have a red trapezoid. I'm gonna drop it. Oops, I have too many. We have a yellow hexagon, two. Another yellow hexagon, three. Another yellow hexagon, four. And a blue rhombus. All right. So now I can put those up here. So three hexagons. I'm gonna stick those right up there. So one, two, three hexagons. Then I had one blue rhombus, right? Yes, one blue rhombus. So we'll stick that right here. And then I had two red trapezoids. No triangles today. But if we take a look at our picture graph, we can see that there's just one blue rhombus. So rhombus has the fewest or the least. We can see two red trapezoids, okay? And we can see three yellow hexagons. So hexagons have the most, rhombus has the least. All right, and that is all we will do for number corner today.